didn't see you. Oh, do you want a salsa? Or do you want I a mean, make? do you want salsa? Oh! <laughs> it I'm is Coach time. Sam. And I'm Coach Grace. And we are here today to make some salsa. Woohoo! You can salsa while you make salsa Ooh, too. Shoot, it's shoot, more shoot, fun shoot. that way. <laughs> we are so excited. We have chips and salsa. Are they Hence chips the though? salsa. Ooh, they're healthy chips. What kind of chips? Apple chips. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get into the ingredients, let you know what's in the salsa, what's in the chips, and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you first, we have some cilantro and parsley chopped up nice and fine here. We have some lime juice. We have jalapeno, which also contains capsaicin, which is super good for helping speed up your metabolism. Also a meta influencer and superfood. So we love ourselves some jalapeno. We have some diced tomatoes here. You can use, there's so many different kinds of tomatoes. You're welcome to use whatever kind of tomato that you would like. We have a quarter cup of diced onion here. We have a cup of tomatoes and we have a cup of pineapple. So it's gonna give it more of a summery feel with some fresh pineapple. And we're gonna mix all of these wonderful ingredients together and put them in this bowl with some chips. And I have an apple. <laughs> That's all I have, that's all you need. You just need an apple and a knife and voila. So while I get slicing and dicing, well not dicing, just slicing over here, why don't you explain to them, um, is there another like liquid in there or is it just the lime juice? Nope, so I'm going to cut up a little bit more pineapple here just to show you. I'm gonna dice it nice and fine. When you get pineapple, even if you get it chunked already, the chunks are gonna be pretty big um, because they want, we want this to be more of a dipping salsa. Nice and small, diced nice and tiny so that we can mix it in with our salsa and it's easy to dip. So our little pieces of pineapple here, I'm gonna add in the rest of the pineapple. I usually like to mix things big to small. So we'll start with the pineapple first, make sure we get all of it in there. And these measurements don't have to be exact because it is salsa, if you love pineapple, you can use a lot more pineapple. If you don't really like pineapple that much, you can go easy on it. Some people even will put mango in their salsa, so you could substitute mango for the pineapple. Anything that's in season, really, right? Yeah, definitely. And we usually like to make these things fresh. Um, so just to recap, a cup of pineapple, a cup of tomatoes, a quarter cup of onion, all in there. And then we have some jalapenos here. Depending on how spicy you like it, you might want a tablespoon, you might just want a teaspoon of jalapenos. So I have a, a little more than a teaspoon here. So I'm gonna add in the jalapenos. Make sure those are mixed in really well because you obviously don't want to get a big bite of jalapeno. Mm, no. Be careful with jalapeno too. You don't wanna touch the jalapeno and then touch your eyes or your face or anything else like that because that is not fun. It definitely not. Definitely hurts. Um, and so the, the tomatoes that I used are pretty small, but I still like to dice them just like the pineapple. Um, again, the, the pineapple chunks are pretty big, so make sure you're dicing both the pineapple and the tomato in smaller chunks. And then I have finally diced Finely, not finally. Finely diced the cilantro and the parsley here. So you want it in small pieces so that you can sprinkle it throughout um, the salsa and that way you can mix it in really well. Um, so I'm gonna dump all of the cilantro in there. It also gives it really good flavor. I recommend trying to use um, the, the fresh herbs for this if you can because the dried herbs, they still taste good, but they're not quite as good. So fresh herbs if you can. And then last but not least, I do about two tablespoons of the lime juice. So I'm gonna drizzle it all throughout, but we're gonna mix all of this together anyways. So we have our nice yummy salsa. And now you can see the finished product. It is beautiful. So There's so pretty. much color. And all you need is a chip to eat with this, an apple chip, and it looks like Sam has some chips ready for us. Yes, you know what would be really good with that too? Some tahini. Ooh, and salt and pepper, how could I forget? Yeah. Just put a little bit of salt and pepper seasoning. just to give it a little extra seasoning on top. Um, you don't have to do a lot, but just a little bit. And that's all she wrote. Yeah. Voila. So I've already sliced all of the apples 
thin. You don't want it too thick because then they're not gonna dry out and be crisp, they're gonna be very mushy and more like an apple pie kind of slice. So I did like almost paper thin to where it's kind of, you almost translucent. translucent. Um, be careful too, making sure that you're pulling out the pits of the apple if they do come out from the core, but it leaves like this fun little star, which is kind of cute. So you have like little circles, little stars. Um, the oven is on 300 degrees, so I'm gonna take the apple slice put them in the oven, and then we'll get them out in about 20 minutes, give or take. Definitely um, keep an eye on them because if they are thin, you don't want them to burn. And if they are a little bit thicker, you don't want them to be mushed. So I'm gonna put those in right now. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes, which is nice. So we're gonna check on them. Um, I did notice that some of them were a little bit thinner and they did get burnt, so I got out before I started to fire. Um, so then we're gonna pull these out. Oh, look how beautiful oh, they are. Oh yes, they look like they need some salsa. Oh, they do need some salsa. And you can notice too that they do like this fun little curl thing. Um, that just goes to show you that you did it at the right thinness of the apple. Um, when they're a little bit too thick, they're just gonna weigh down and that's what causes that mushiness. Um, so they're a little hot, so we're gonna let them sit for a minute and then we're gonna plate them with our salsa and enjoy. One more little fun fact that I forgot to mention about pineapple. It contains something called bromelain, which helps reduce inflammation. So not only can you enjoy this super delicious snack, you're getting a ton of benefits, the capsaicin and the jalapeno, the bromelain and the pineapple. You're getting some amazing nutrients apples from the apples. Have potassium and vitamins and Absolutely. they're great for weight loss and the best part about it is you're not digging into a corn to tortilla, tortilla or any kind of chips which are high in salt and definitely just gonna sit in that mid, mid area of your stomach. All right, let's see. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plate it on this one. You wanna put it both of them just together? No, it's we like, don't even need both. We have extra salsa. so much. We've made this some both. I'm gonna mix even more so we have plenty of salsa to enjoy with be our chips. Cautious and just do it so it's nice and I'm not touching this hot chip. Mmm, nice that and looks crispy. super good. And Ooh. now is when you play your salsa music and you add a little you salsa play? while you Let's enjoy play your some salsa. salsa. Ready? Ooh, feeling the theme looks of our salsa. So yummy. Ooh. Bing, bing, bing. Don't you have a workout video too that teaches everyone how to salsa? As a matter of fact, Sam, I do. Oh. If you guys want to check out the dance hit workout that just came out, it was so much fun to film. Made it just for you guys. I wouldn't dance on camera for anybody else but you guys. <laughs> she and did great, by the way. Thank you. There are some super fun moves. It's just a great way to incorporate some music into your workout. And maybe you have salsa after you actually salsa. And doing the workout, salsaing together while you're making mm -hmm. it and while those apples are cooking. And we're going to see you guys on the next video. Get all of your fun nutrition. You get your workouts, everything with spell. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.